Alrighty, we got. Okay, and that is based on. Let's go forward here. That here. Actually, nice that it finishes and then she has a bit of a, a recovery. I think my main reaction on this is that it's. And then that's it. Where it's. You get to the end, and then the end is so much in here. Then you have got an extra frame there. There's an extra frame. Hold on. Let's cut that. Um, I think it would be nice to exaggerate. Well, there are a couple of things. Um, it says here you like it, but it's too close to the reference, and you like to push the poses more. And what you can do is, as she goes back, instead of having the thighs overlap and then silhouette wise we just get kind of that you can have her lean more the other way basically lean over that foot more and then bring that foot up into like a really big it's almost like a, a picture <laughs> the other side though but that could be one thing so it's not just kind of that that little bit of a lift you just go hold on i'm gonna bring that back so this would be a much bigger move over and the leg is up and then she can get into this i like this i like that she goes into this here and that's cool i like that a lot here and that big swing it gets a bit from this to this that's a bit strong and i think we can do probably a bigger rotation in the route just a bit and then she goes back it's less in arms but you keep twisting. You can push that a bit more and then give a couple more frames for the recovery as you go forward where she basically untwists and brings that foot back. I think that could help. There could also be something where as you go back into this, again, she goes back, is up there and has like the head goes down. There's a bit more of a, a compression. I know she has to concentrate and look at where the ball is coming, but it could also be something where that she's getting really ready and she's just scrunching together. It would be fun to kind of experiment with with a pose like that. And then almost have, I don't know if there's a room. So I like how it's like this here with that line. But it could be interesting to when she goes down to push even further where you uh, extend that leg potentially a bit more to get a stronger line here and then because the thing is, on a twist like this, if you want to go back, you could almost maybe pull that foot back. Now, I don't play baseball, so it might be, oh, that doesn't work. You need both feet on the ground for that twist and the push off and all that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but that could be something. And I think what's going to help you, too, is that by bringing that head down or, or yeah, at least a sideways tilt with a bit of a twist there, is that right now the head feels a bit locked, especially through here. This feels like a world space or IK head just translating down like a 2D card. And then it starts to kind of drag almost too much through there where it gets a bit of a quarant. This feels broken to me in terms of how much is the chest is twist, twisted this way and the head twisted this way. Whereas this makes more sense. This is more comfortable, anatomically more comfortable. That being said, you know, you want to exaggerate, so then you could potentially push it. But on something like this, I would then involve more rotations in all axes to make that work. Let me just see. There's a bit of a wobble in the head, and you can see this, how you go down and then to the left suddenly, but then back to the right and then to the left again. So you can smooth it out a little bit. And again, if you continue with this, there's just there's a bit of a really separation with that bend that then stops and I will continue a little bit um, with the chest, but then it continues. It will pull the root with it. Otherwise, it's going to start breaking this as this is looking, you know, out this way. But to me, it's like you want to give a bit more of a if those arms continue to go back. They're going to pull this arm back a bit. It's going to influence this a bit more. And then especially on the recovery. There's something here, right? During this section, if you just box that in. But then this feels totally separate. And I think you can loosen it up just a bit more. What does she have here? 
So she goes. Yeah, there's just already more of a turn. This is really locked up. It's very cool to see though. I do love that that twist and that slight lift. And then that. That's pretty cool. So yeah. For me, scope is it would be a couple poses, and then you can also. You know, it depends how far you want to go. If you want to start broader eyes, and then this would be a big squint getting ready. And then right through there, you would open them again, and then boom, she would close, and maybe like cheeks out, and into this, back into open eyes, maybe even like a smile, open mouth, haha. <laughs> like that could be something pretty fun as well. So for me, also, there's a bit of a sudden pop in the in this area right there. It just it's cool. I like the poses. It's just every now and then this feels a bit disjointed. So if I just watch this repeatedly, there's a bit of a sudden disjointed move in here. And then there's definitely what that that'll pop in the in that in the torso backside. Where I feel like the legs are better. There's some good stuff in there. But at the same time, it's really short. You know, this could be noodled forever. I mean, it has a really nice feel in terms of what this is doing. I'm going to sloppily go over there. Like, there's nothing crazy poppy in what the bat is doing. The Batman. Like, this feels really nice. Could potentially soften that line a bit and then readjust the fingers get into something like that sooner but this is nice i like that that line and that gets a bit broken there maybe adjust that so it's less hammery like even here you can bring the index out a bit it's almost like the grip softens a bit so that you don't have that broken wrist pose through there again in real time you barely see it and the only reason i'm looking at it specifically but watching this for the first time i think the main thing that the two things that stood out to me were this neck, IK looking neck here, and then that sudden compression there and stop where it suddenly locks. You can see how this line goes spoon and then locks there. Yeah, and that's kind of that. So it all depends how you want to exaggerate. Where are we? Do you want to just push the poses into stronger lines? Like I said, you want to bring it over a bit, bring that leg up to something like that, or do you want it to be? stylized in terms of you know if, if she does this rotate over this foot up and she is rotating away and then rotates back if you want to really exaggerate all the motions like even this then we're going to go way bigger where she almost looks up here you know, like a really exaggerated pow and then and then coming back it all depends how far you want to go and that is that i'll leave it at that probably more questions at the end um, but let me know in the email. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.